Let's learn how to get loot like this in today's episode, Balloon Minion Farming. Let's first talk about composition here. I personally, as a Town Hall 10, I have a rock 24 to 28 balloons and 50 minions. I sometimes carry them wizards so that they can push in from the opposite side or behind with my heroes. However, as a Town Hall 9, you could simply remove these wizards and go all balloon and minion, or knock a few balloon and minions off, especially if you're upgrading your heroes, because the wizards tend to go down very quick and aren't as useful if you don't have the heroes. For my spells, I take all heal spells, and this is simply because they are a half hour build time. This means that you can raid once every hour if you have the time, so you'll have two heal spells there throughout the raid, which are very helpful. If I have to use more than two in a raid in order to get the loot, I will, because I don't have to raid every hour, but also I can conserve spells throughout other raids as well, which I'll show throughout the video. So before we get on to a few examples, I'd just like to give a few tips. The first thing, just like with any attack strategy, is don't expect to be good with this overnight. You will have to practice with it, and it won't come straight away, and you will mess up raids from time to time. I still mess up raids with this, and I've been using it extensively for probably about six months now as a farming technique. My personal preference on where you're going to farm is Crystal 2, and there's a few reasons for this. I have used this all the way up to Masters, and it does still work, although I would say that Low Crystal is the best. One of the main reasons is the type of bases we're going to be targeting. Because we use heal spells and a lot of minions, Town Hall 10s with Infernos are going to be difficult to get the loot from. So we either need to be, be able to push in there, the Infernos might be out the way, or they might be simply under leveled, or the loot could be on the outside in the storages. However, my main target with this attack strategy is Town Hall 9s because they don't have them Infernos. So you can push right into the centre to the storages because this farming strategy is not just a collector raid like Barch. You are going to be able to push in and get the storages in the centre as well. If you come across a Town Hall 8 or if you're a Town Hall 9, a Town Hall 7 with plenty of loot, you will obviously be able to crush that base and take the loot as well. And the main other reason for being in the Crystal League is that you need to be able to protect your loot at the same time. So if I'm using this uh, techniques extensively throughout the day, I can normally max my gold storage in two days. More than that, obviously, if I'm only raiding a couple of times a day. So with that, obviously, I don't want to be susceptible to the same attack that I am doing on other people. Although you have to accept that other people will come in and try and take your loot. So the first thing obviously is keep that town hall out. Keep it right out the way so that people know that it's not in the proximity of any of the defences. Because as you go higher up the leagues, you will obviously be matched with high level players who will be stronger and able, more capable anyway of taking your loot. But also you will then have to search more in order to find people that you can take. And the last thing is actually how much loot to go for. So this comes down to personal preference. I tend to specifically farm gold, so I aim for 200,000 per raid, which I'll be happy with, but a lot of the time I'll make more than that. So with my loot bonus, I'll take anything in the region of 160 to 170,000 gold. I'll also try and get elixir because you need that to sustain the army and keep farming, but I tend to slowly move up with elixir and I can actually save that up. I'll also make sure I get enough Dark Elixir, but actually it's quite hard or it's quite rare that you won't cover the cost of your minions. And if I come across a base where I can take the Dark Elixir and they have 2.5k, then I will actually sacrifice the gold for the Dark Elixir. But it just comes down to personal preference and you'll get used to the bases that you can and cannot take with this attack strategy. So let's jump into that first example where I showed you the composition. I'll try and show you some of my attack logs as well throughout the video, just to show how well it's doing, but also that I don't always make that target loot. So there's basically two ways of deploying on this attack strategy, and it depends on where the loot is, and also the base setup. You can see that on this base, the loot is actually on the outside, in the storages, so I'm just going to push in a few balloons at each corner, and make sure that the minions can actually get behind and do that. You can also just surround the base with balloons and minions which I'll show you later but basically you're just pushing in with the balloons from each side to make sure that you can get the minions in towards them um, not storages the mines sorry 
um, and then you can finish up with heroes if you've got them on either side and on this one I'm not using any spells because I didn't need it to get the loot so again that means if the next raid I come across a monster raid and I need to use more heals I'll have them there but also I'm conserving elixir by not using them heal spells so we'll start wrapping this one up obviously quite an easy raid if it's on the outside there in the uh, mines and it's it's quite straightforward really just protect your minions as you go around the base and I'm going to wreck that base for 100% so I was explaining there how you can simply wrap your balloons and minions around the outside if the loot is there in the mines so I'll show you an example now but just showed you another attack log there so if we jump straight into it here you can see all of the loot is on the outside there in all the mines not too much to explain two finger drop just dragging your finger around in kind of a u shape around the base with the balloons and then the minions i did use a couple of heels because there were some mines behind the walls that i wanted to ensure that i got that's one thing that i've learned from this is that in the initial stages you kind of need to make sure you get the loot because if your balloons go down it's very difficult to get it with just minions and then i can finish up at the top there and get them remaining mines with my heroes so not too much strategy to talk about there just a two finger drag and drop you want the balloons in quite a wide radius of lines so that they can cover for the minions and they can finish up but also you don't want them to group on one defense and be susceptible to splash damage so i'm going to jump straight into another example very similar to the one you've just seen a simple drag and drop where it's in the mines this time the loot is a bit further in so the mines aren't all on the outside so i'm not going to do such a wide drop because i need to get that little bit further in in order to get the mines this is the type of base i'm talking about as well on a town hall 10 obviously it's a little bit under level the inferno is only on single there there's only one so if you see a base like this don't be afraid to attack this i did use enough heal spells there to ensure i got all the loot but obviously my heroes i can push in at the bottom there you might not be able to do that but if you can't get all the loot on this base i'm sure it still would be worth it if all the loot is in the mines so I just want to show you again another example of a Town Hall 10 you might go for. So you can see the Infernal Towers are right out the way. It's not going to cause too much of a bother. We can drop the balloons in that kind of U shape with the minions very quickly behind them. You want to get the minions in quickly so that they do get cover from the balloons. Obviously I can just use my king at the top there for their mines because they're just by themselves. And the heal spells as well, you'll notice I put in quite quickly so they're not next to the Inferno Towers. But that's something I'm going to explain when we go on to pushing into the storages, which we'll do now. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to highlight from this example. And the first one is right there. If ever I come across a base with a town hall out that I am going to attack, I'll put just a couple of minions in and take that town hall first for my loot bonus because I don't want to activate the clan castle, then have them come over and then not get my 50%. Okay, so I'm going to freeze the frame here because I'm first going to explain how I actually like to drop the troops if we are going to push in for the storages. So you can see there that there's plenty of loot in the elixir collect in the elixir storages, sorry, and I am going to push in. So what I like to do is choose a side that I'm going to push in from, and on this one it's going to be that right side, so the bottom right side. And I'm basically just going to put a line of balloons all the way across that side. I'm going to start on the left or the right, whatever side, and just drag my finger up and down to put the balloons in. I then start throwing the minions in in the same fashion, so a line making sure they're just sweeping across the base in one straight line. I then like to put two heal spells in to cover that line so you'll see it's going to be perfect here right where them wizard towers are because the wizard towers are a nightmare for balloons if they start to clump together. If I can and it's going to be sufficient two spells will be all I use but if I need more than that in order to push further if the base is a bit more leveled then I will use more so I do in this example because I want to ensure that I get right the way through that base and get all the loot. So let's get in the example which I'm going to slow right down so that we can really focus on that deployment of troops and spells. So I'm going to start from the top right there and just drag my finger up and down so we get a nice wide spread of the balloons. Because this is more of a spam attack and you do want to just get your troops straight in there. Once all the balloons are down I'm then going to follow that straight up with minions. So starting behind and just dragging my finger up and down in order to get a good wide spread. Once I've got that spread you'll see that they've almost just made one line and they're just starting to sweep through the base which I don't worry too much about the line of the defences and the direction of the balloons when I'm farming because it is just a spam attack and you do want to just get them in there and followed by the minions straight away. 
you can see there that the heels then go down so I put them in nice and wide again so that you get a good spread and you do tend to want to watch your balloons though as you're doing it that right heel spell was probably a bit too far to the right it could have been a bit more central for that group of balloons I do follow it with a couple more here because it depends where you're going with the storages the first two would have been enough for the first set of storages there but if you want to push on you may need more depending on the position of the storages as well depends on whether I push in behind with my heroes or from the opposite side so you'll see on this one if I'd came in I only had my queen if I'd put her in from the opposite side there's a lot of stuff there she would have to go through before she got anywhere near the storages whereas if the storages are clumped a bit more in the middle you're probably better off coming from the same side of the balloons because then you can follow up behind them and you won't have to clear as much and you can even just forget about the defences on the back because they're not actually going to do anything as long as you get that 50% the loot is all you're after. So if we kind of recap while we're wrapping up, nice widespread of balloons so that they cover the minions and also almost sweep through the base in one scoop. You want the minions in there nice and quick as well and you want the heels in to cover a lot of ground in that line and I like to put them in fairly quickly as well. My rule of thumb generally is so that the outer side of the heel is pushed against the outer side of the wall. So they are literally just inside the base. That's going to help keep a lot of your balloons alive at first. Because the minions actually do a lot of damage in behind. And they'll all just push through the base. Also, don't worry about getting all of the loot. A lot of the time I'll separate the storages. So I'll only go for two storages as long as I meet my loot target. Or depend on what I'm actually after out of the base. And obviously sometimes the dark elixir storage itself might be your sole target of the attack. But very importantly is to just start practicing with it because one main thing is being able to recognize which loot you can take and which loot you can't take. So a lot of bases that have a lot of loot I will skip over because I simply know that I'm not going to be able to push in and get it and I'll just be wasting the attack. So it might be an idea to start on lower bases where you know you're definitely going to get the loot. You don't have to be in crystal for this to work. I know when I first started using this attack strategy and I was working my way up into crystal, it was very much working in gold. It just means you might have to have a few more searches in order to find the loot that you want. And also the loot bonus isn't quite as good. So let's show you this last raid before we wrap up. You can see I've started there on the town hall with a few minions and I could not pass this raid up although it did have the multi inferno there. So you will see at the end it just shreds through my minions. In with the line of balloons I'm a bit tighter there on the spread because the storages are very clumped together there and I already had the town hall. So once the balloons are in I'm quickly going to push in with the minions and then I'm putting everything in I've got wizards in the clan castle and then the queen there as well to all push in towards them storages. Now as you know you can't heal troops that are under fire by the inferno that's what makes it hard but also it shreds through the minions quite quickly but in that example I had to put the heal down because there is just so much loot available it was still working on some of the balloons. In they all go and you can see they are just shredding through them storages and then you'll see here where the next inferno comes on and my minions just disappear. Well thanks for watching, I hope that gets you started with balloon minion farming. Keep practicing it and good luck. I've been your host Judosloth89 and until next time, keep calm and clash on. Yeah.